Hello everyone. Today's video is going to be about American Picas. So let's get right into the video. Fact 1. Picas are related to rabbits. The pika may look like it belongs to the order Rodentia with its hamster-like size, short, rounded ears, and dense coat, but it's actually a species of the order Lagomorpha, which also contains rabbits and hares. They differ from their relatives quite drastically, though boasting no pointy ears, only tiny hind legs, and fur on the soles of their feet. Fact 2. They are very territorial. Pikas are very exposed in their high-altitude homes, so they live in colonies for protection. Still, they're extremely territorial of their own rock dens, surrounding area and tend to lead solitary lives even though they stick together. They break their solitary spells only during the breeding seasons, usually once during spring and once during summer. Fact 3. They live high in the mountains. American Picas live throughout North America after crossing the land bridge from Asia to Alaska thousands of years ago, but the species has since retreated to higher ground in favor of cooler climates. They now live in the highest parts of New Mexico, California, Colorado, Oregon, Washington, and western Canada, rarely seen below 8,200 feet in more southern territory. Fact 4 they protect their territory by bleeding loudly. American Picas are famously vocal. They chirp, sing, and scream in an effort to protect their territory. The high-pitched, squeaky noise they make is more like bleeding, like a lamb. In any case, they use their signature call to alert others in the colony of an approaching predator, to establish boundaries, and in some cases, to attract mates. Fact 5. They gather a lot of vegetation for winter. Picas spend a great deal of time gathering flowers and grasses for winter, but they don't hibernate. Rather, their tendency to gather is a preparation for harsh winters at high elevation. According to the National Park Service, they cure the vegetation they collect on rocks in the sun, then store their piles under rocks for safekeeping, occasionally moving them so they don't get rained on. A 1990 study by Colorado Parks and Wildlife showed these haystacks, as they're called, weigh a whopping 61 pounds on average. That's an accumulation of 14,000 trips worth of vegetation, 25 per hour over a 10-week period. If you enjoyed the content of this video, click the subscribe button so you can receive more content like this.